Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yasha, if you're new here. And seeing as we have just passed, you know, the 2022 NRMP match, I thought we could maybe discuss some of the very preliminary takeaways that I made just from seeing things on social media and the very preliminary NRMP data that came out. Let's just talk a little bit about how this year's match went down and really what that means for years to come. The first thing is really about matching at your number one choice, and it seems like it's just getting harder. The number of people that you know I saw on social media and people that reached out to me saying that they matched like really low on their list, which really in radiology is kind of unusual. Um, it, it seems like it was a greater proportion of people, and I think the data really supports that. So if you look at one of the tables from, or one of the charts from this NEJM article, it sounds like in 2000, in the year 2000, 60% of applicants were able to get their first choice pick, and only 15% of students would get their fourth choice or lower. But fast forward to 2021, 45% of students are getting their first choice. So it's definitely dropped, while 25% of people are getting their fourth choice or lower. And I have a feeling 2022 is only going to continue that trend. So matching your number one choice, which used to be at least like 60%, um, has definitely gone down. So I think that that's definitely something to keep in mind going forward. The second thing is application fever. And unfortunately, I think it's again only going to get worse. I know that next year radiology is starting out this um, signaling token. However, I don't think that's going to affect the number of applications that people send in. I still think that everyone's going to send in as many applications as possible, especially after seeing this year's match. So if you're applying next year, just keep in mind that you will want to apply broadly because everyone else is going to be applying broadly and I don't think that that is going to change anytime soon. Just for some numbers, just so you can see what it's really like from the program perspective, it sounds like, and again, this is from the same article, that the average internal medicine or general surgery residency program actually gets over 100 applications for every available position. Just think about that. So if you're wondering if students are really over applying, yes, they really are. And even though the fill rates for these programs are unchanged over time, there has been an increase in the number of applicants to rank per position. So in 2002, the average number of applicants to fill one spot was 9.2. And in 2021, it's actually gone up to 15.4. Not quite a double, but you know, nearly there. So. If you're wondering if you should overapply next year, I think the answer is yes. My third takeaway is just that the overall match rate for a PGY1 position is actually unchanged, which I found surprising given what I'm seeing on social media, people reaching out to me, I felt like it was a much higher. And I'm wondering if that's because I think radiology itself has become more competitive, but overall for USMD, DO, even US and non-US IMGs, the numbers are actually not significantly changed in terms of who was able to match into a PGY1 position. Um, over the last few years. So I made this table from the NRMP data, which I will link obviously in the description box, but you can see the numbers are not significantly changed. So if you are someone who's going to be matching next year, I don't want you to freak out just yet. I mean, things are definitely getting competitive, but depending on what you wanna go into, I think you can rest assured that this year was not significantly changed from years past. That brings me to my next point, which is I really do believe that radiology did get more competitive this year. And there is this chart by Francis Dang, who I trust totally with data because he is a mastermind, I would say. And he created this chart of the radiology positions and number of matched and unmatched. And what I would take away from this is that overall, it seems like the match rate into radiology this year in 2022 was 71.7% with MD seniors being 83.6%, which is lower than last year, where the overall percentage was 77.2% and MD seniors matched 90.7%. That being said, um, we won't know the exact percentages until NRMP releases all of their data because as we all know, radiology commonly is a backup specialty for more competitive specialties like ENT, urology, ophthalmology, and these numbers don't take that into account. So let's just, before we like freak out too much, we will just you know acknowledge that these are some preliminary numbers and the real data will come out with the NRMP match data, which comes out usually like in July. So let's not freak out. But it seems like radiology did get a little bit more competitive this year. 
I really believe that the reason it seems like a lot more people went unmatched is because more people are willing to talk about it. And also, like I said, radiology seems like it was more competitive this year. So maybe there was a greater proportion of radiology resident or radiology applicants that went unmatched. But I am happy that more people are opening up about it, putting it on social media, are more willing to talk about it because that can only help you know next year's applicants and other people who don't match in the future. So if that's why we're seeing this change, I'm, I'm happy about it. I mean, it's really unfortunate that it's happening and that people are still going unmatched, but I am happy that it's becoming more of a conversation topic. And I think that will allow us to build some sort of program or some sort of like strategy for applicants in the future. Given that things are you know, more openly talked about on social media, I do believe that dual applying will become more common. And I think that more applicants should dual apply if you are afraid that you may not match into your preferred subspecialty. As someone who reviews applications you know, on the program side, I definitely bring up when I think that someone is dual applying, but I still don't think that that is enough of a reason for an applicant to not dual apply. You have to remember that you are out there for yourself and you really need to put yourself in a position to match next year because financially you know you do want to secure a job if you are 100 percent um committed to only one field that's a different story but if you are willing to be flexible and you think or at least are open to the idea i don't think that dual applying is a bad thing and i think that it is better to be safe than sorry ultimately my last takeaway is that it's still really hard to be an IMG or a DO, especially in the match climate right now. Um, it seems like the overall match rates for these populations have not really changed, which is reassuring, but I, you can see that it's a significantly lower amount of, lower percentage of DOs and IMGs that match every year. So I do think that, unfortunately, that trend is going to continue. I don't think it has changed significantly over the last few years, and I don't see it changing significantly in the near future. So what does this all really mean for you as someone who is maybe preparing for next year's match? I think that you need to start preparing early, get your letters in order early. Think about dual applying, have someone look at your application, look at it critically, look at your step scores, look at you know your overall transcript and see like, are you competitive? Because I think a lot of times we have this idea that like, oh, I'll match. It's a 90 plus percent match rate, you know? But again, you don't wanna be that one person because there's still 10% of people that means that didn't match and you don't wanna be in that 10%. And the only way to know if you will be or you won't be is to have someone else look at your application. I mean, advisors are great, counselors are great. I think that having a program director is probably your best bet in terms of someone who will be critical and honest with you about what your application really looks like from their perspective because they have reviewed hundreds and they know who matches into their program historically. So trying to get a program director or someone who has reviewed tons of applications. I have the most respect for advisors and counselors, but I sometimes don't think that they necessarily know what makes an application competitive aside from like really strong step scores. So just look for people, get multiple people to lay eyes on your, um, on your application and use that to even think about dual applying. So you may want to start doing that early and start thinking about dual applying early if that's something you're worried about because you will have to get extra letters and you'll have to kind of navigate that in a little bit of a different way um, than if you were just applying to one specialty. So just things to consider. Of course, away rotations will continue to be important, especially if you want to break geographical boundaries. Just make sure you're putting yourself in the best position to succeed. I just don't want you to have regrets you know later on once you're getting to match day and you find out you didn't match into the position or into the specialty that you wanted to and if you look back and think oh we could have done more you just want to avoid that feeling and right now you still have the chance to make that change and avoid any regret come match day next year hopefully that was a helpful video just a quick roundup of course like i said none of this is set in stone it'll all depend on what the nrmp real match data shows coming which will come in a couple of months um but this was kind of my main takeaway. These were my main takeaways, I should say, plural. But um, in any case, hopefully it was helpful. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more related content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.